my name is Vasant Raghun. I'm a product manager in an application platform uh, group, which is part of Cisco Services. Today, I'm going to talk about uh, how SDN applications are making inroads into enterprise networks and service product networks, and how Cisco is addressing the problem of integration. They're looking at this as an integration problem rather than a pure application uh, services insertion. Like I talked about, what we, Cisco we are looking at is that there is a business challenge around customers getting value out of their investment in the network. And they also are facing challenges around how to tie my infrastructure investment into business outcomes. That's the direct question they're asking. So what we have been looking at this as an integration problem so that we can bring the two different worlds of enterprise applications and infrastructure together to address these two challenges, to tie business outcomes to infrastructure investment and also to address the business challenges. What are we doing at Cisco is that we're looking at this and saying, okay, to address this problem, we need to do two things. One is we need to build a pure software platform to connect enterprise applications to infrastructure, pure software platform so that you get, you get the scalability, programmability, all the features that you expect from a software. And the second piece of that is you need a consistent way of exposing the infrastructure capabilities to be consumed by an application not bound. You need to have it consistent. All the things that uh, we just heard in the previous session from Jaydeep, everything that you want to do around the APIs so that it's consistent and well understood. That's the way you want to address this problem. If you look at this one, your infrastructure is spread across the network around different parts of the network, data center, van, branch. Doesn't matter where the infrastructure is. You want to tie the investment in the infrastructure to the business outcomes. This is how you want to do this. When you look at the current, any enterprise network today, there's a reality and a challenge. The reality is that there are Investments in infrastructure, there are legacy applications, uh, new applications, on-prem, cloud, everything staying together, working together. There is no ideal world where you can say, okay, I want to migrate all my legacy applications into new applications, and I'm done with it. By the time you're done with it, you will have the applications that you installed previously will become legacy. That's the pace of innovation that's happening. So this is the given reality. So what does it mean to an end user? is fragmented user experience. This is the reality of the uh, enterprise networks today. On top of that, enterprises want to expose their services to third party to be consumed by B2B or partners or uh, end uh, customers. The way we want to solve this problem, uh, and this is how we are addressing this uh, problem space, is that we want to enable integration solutions by bringing in software and services together. This, this is the way we want to address this problem. It, that's why we call it the Cisco application integration solutions. It's not a piece product, it's a total solution. So you want to have a piece of uh, software, you want to have an element of services also. You want to bind it all together to create the solution. Then this is a little bit detailed view of how we want to do this. Uh, we call this in the internally a four layer cake. And we joke about it saying that if you want to get the full taste of the cake, you need to have all the four layers, and that's how you see these four layers. So what you're seeing here is essentially in the bottom most layer is the infrastructure. Every enterprise customer service provider invests money in the infrastructure across the network, data center, campus, edge, across the network. These network devices come with a rich set of capabilities and uh, operating system that gives you uh, function, network function that you can uh, deploy. With the in introduction of SDN, there's another layer that comes on top. This controller abstracts the network for you, gives you a lot of uh, programmability, automation, scalability, but still doesn't directly tie with the business outcomes or directly address the customer's, uh, let's say, challenges around re new revenue or OPEX reduction directly. So what we are doing is that we're taking that controller which has exposed a couple of APIs or hundreds of APIs 
I'm just not talking about one controller, I'm talking about multiple controllers. What we're bringing to the market is a Cisco integration platform where we are abstracting those APIs, another level of abstraction. So if you are an application developer, you're building an application, you're writing an application on top of my Cisco integration platform, you are completely abstracted from what controller lies below that, how many controllers are there, how many network devices you manage, it doesn't matter because you're completely abstracted out. That's the power of the integration platforms. We are creating a lot of IP in, in our group and writing brand new APIs. I always give this classic example. The controllers typically, most of them have a topology module. So controllers can give you the topology of the network. But let's say the controller which is giving you the topology of the network can give you the topology of the data center or it can give you the topology of the van. You need multiple controllers to give you the full visibility of the network. So what you're doing in the SIP platform is we're creating a brand new API called topology. You, cre you pass a parameter to the API saying I want topology of everything. It talks to multiple controllers, synchronizes the output, combines it, and displays it for you. That's the power of the platform you're building. Or you say I only want the branch. It'll go and talk to the respective controller which has control over the branch. Or let's say if one controller has a capability to do van optimization, another controller has a capability to do ingress quality control, you just talk to one API and this API will orchestrate this whole process between multiple controllers. That's the level of uh, abstraction we're bringing to the market. So on top of the controller, you see a different kinds of apps being written. The reason for that is there are existing business applications like your CRM, your billing, your uh, coding systems, which can be connected directly to this integration platform. So what we bring to the table is a powerful integration solution from end to end. This is not just pure infrastructure solution. This is pure end to end integration solution. Right from a customer who logs in, we know who he is, to the time he requests an infrastructure service, then we bill him the end-to-end -end solution. That's what we're bringing to the market. Complete business process orchestration, integration with almost 150 systems out of the box. That's the power of this platform. And we'll continue to invest in this platform and build much more rich set of services. That, that's the goal. Please feel free to stop me and ask questions. The way we look at this market is uh, there is a maturity model that we see happening in this market. Uh, we are one of the few people, a few companies in the world even trying to address this problem. So what we see is, is a light version of apps coming to market first. What this light version of apps do is that they directly use Python or even Java and directly connect to the APIs being exposed by the controller, one controller at a time. This is the light version. This is the basic evolution uh, start. Then you will have advanced version and this in fact, this is what we are following in our own uh, app methodology or app release. Then there's an advanced version. So what we do in the advanced version is we bring in the SIP platform, we connect to one controller and we expose services that you can be consumed by business applications so that you can tie, let's say you want to go after new revenue, we can tie that business outcome to a business application and then directly integrate with infrastructure that you want to. If you want new revenue from your van services, we can actually have a controller that manages your RAN services, connect directly to your billing system, your marketing, marketing systems. That's, that's where the advanced version comes in. The real game changer happens when you move to the professional version. So here you're talking about multiple controllers. And then you're also talking about analytics. It, it's a completely game changing uh, paradigm that you will enter into. This is where most of the customers are seeing that they can extract value from their investment on the infrastructure. It's, it's the conversation changes from pure infrastructure box level discussion to how can I get value out of this. This, this is where it makes all the uh, business decisions come together. At this point in time, in professional version, the conversation is not about what kind of router do you need to install. The conversation is about what kind of monetization services that I can enable? How fast can I go to market with these services? That is the conversation you'll start ending. 
In fact, this is the conversation I've been having with multiple customers. We are in doing couple of POCs with leading uh, telcos in the world. What I wanted to do is, yeah, it's all good. You're talking about all these things. What have we done internally to address this one? So what we have done is, we're going to build uh, apps. What I want to share with you is just one app that we have built, and we have showing it in the demo part also. Feel free to come by and see the demo. This application is about bandwidth on demand and calendaring. Typically, this is a service provider use case. What they want to do is that they have a core network that they've invested money in. First, they don't know how much of that investment is being utilized. They don't know how much is being utilized. Before going and asking dollars to go and buy some more equipment, they want to know how much they're using it. So we actually can come up with a solution. This is a, one of the solutions where it can address your requirement for new revenue. Let's say you have existing L3, L3 customers. The question for a service part is, how do you add value on top of what you're providing? Yeah, every SP provides the same level of L2, L3 VPN. How do you add value on top of it? The next question is, yeah, I'll buy this SDN controller. How does it integrate into my existing work process, business process? How does it integrate? Don't tell me that you will give me a shiny controller and then my business process is going to be disparate from the controller. That's the question they ask you. And the third question they ask is, where should I start? Uh, should I start from OPEX reduction and then go into new revenue, or should I do both of them together? If I want to do both of them together, is it even possible? All of these are possible in the solution that we are bringing to market. So this bandwidth on demand and calendaring application addresses these uh, questions. What we have done is we created a pure web-based portal from where you can get a list of all the nodes in the network. You can pick and choose two nodes and create a bandwidth on demand. Right now, right here, you want some bandwidth for a particular duration. Or you can say, I want to calendar it. I want to have this bandwidth for every Saturday. I want one meg bandwidth between two locations for the next 15 weeks. All the features that you are expecting in an Outlook calendar will is available in this app. And this picture on the right you see is, is the advanced version. So you're actually working with one controller. We are bringing in the SIP platform. We're bringing in this application. This application is live. It's not a demo application. So all the four layers are working. So from the application, when you ask for a bandwidth, it talks to the SIP. The SIP, in turn, translates that request to a controller, which is Wave. And Wave, in turn, will translate that requirement into creating an actually an LSP tunnel between two nodes. It actually converts the request from the application all the way down to the infrastructure. This is the screen of the application that we have developed. This is the UI that. Uh, I wanted to show here. As you can see in this UI, think of this UI as a uh, UI that gets plugged in into a service provider's existing customer portal. So most of the customers come to uh, me and say, okay, I like your UI, but I don't want to change the user experience that users are used to in my user portal. And my response is, the value of my solution is not in the UI. UI, I'm doing it because I want to show the power of the application. The power is in the SIP platform. So you can use your own UI and then call my APIs. That's why you can go ahead. So what we want to do is here is, is the customer logo is where he can insert his logo. And this is his existing user portal. And this bandwidth on demand application is one of the options in the portal. You can see on the right, I don't know if you can see from there, is a username who is logged in. This is a existing L2, L3 VPN customer for the service provider who logs in. When he's logging in, what I'm doing in the back end is I'm connecting to the CRM system. I get all the information about this customer, who the customer is, what kind of customer, gold, silver, bronze, what kind of SLAs this customer has signed for, what kind of discount level this customer is getting, what are the nodes in his VPN network. The three nodes that you see is the nodes that this particular customer has signed up for. He's paying a monthly fee for those three nodes in his L3 or L3 VPN network. Now what he can do now is that instead of picking up the phone, calling the service provider salesperson to say, I want five gig of bandwidth, 
uh, this Saturday to do, to do backup between two locations. It takes two to three weeks for you to get that quote from the salesperson and convert that into an order. He can go to this portal, pick the locations he wants, give the parameters like bandwidth, latency, duration. And by the way, this application has capability to connect your every business application. So if you have business rules that define that for off-peak and peak, the rates are different. And for this particular customer category, the rates are different. All those rules will read from the existing business applications, will compute and get the code right here, right here. Once the customer likes the code, he can, on the application, convert that code into an order. Then the ordering system generates an order number, and it's a true order. Once the bandwidth is provisioned, the application will talk to the billing system, upload all the billing details, so the bill is generated automatically. While all this is happening, the OSS basis system is also up updated and saying, okay, there's a new virtual inventory that you have created, and that is also updated. So all the existing business systems, this is the important piece. The existing business processes, existing workflows, existing business applications stay the way they are. I'm introducing a new solution that fits into what the existing systems are. I'm not going to disrupt what is actually there. And the beauty and the power of this platform is I can change the sequence. If one customer comes and says, you need to talk to the OSS BSS system, get permission from it before you even go and allocate the bandwidth, fine, we can do that. Or if you say, go do the bandwidth allocation, then just inform my OSS BSS system, fine. You can change the sequence the way you want. Everything is possible in this application. And that's where uh, our goal is to build this application to the level up to 70%. 30% is the customization piece. Like you, you have people on the ground who can help you customize it. This is a, another screen of how the order flow happens. Um, you see the three things, provision, then completed. Initiated is when you create a request or order, it says initiated. Provision and completed. In the pro version, you will also have a lot of analytics around this one. Like you can see between two locations, what was the bandwidth utilization for a given month, given period, all of those things will come in the pro version. This is an evolution and we'll keep adding more and more features into this one. So also what I wanted to do was, yeah, this is all the fancy front end, what's happening in the behind the scenes. This is a behind the scene view. What kind of APIs am I using from the controller? This is a get nodes API that I use from the controller. This is how I get to know all the nodes that are there in the network. This is behind the scenes API view. And these are the list of APIs that I'm exposing on the SIP platform, the one that Jaydeep talked about from the SIP platform. These are all the APIs that I'm exposing from my platform. My UI is using all these APIs. So bringing in the power of the SIP platform, which has both uh, ESB and API, we, we make this platform very powerful. Any questions? So say I wanted to buy this application and integrate it into my own systems, my own OSS and BSS systems. You said that about 30% customization would be needed. Yeah. How fast can that be done? And will that include the UI uh, changes as well that, that were required to integrate with my app? Okay. Very, very good question. So typically, the question I get from customers is exactly similar. What is the difference in buying your SIP platform and customizing it 30% versus me going and building all over? It's the difference between six months integration project, six to nine months integration project versus three weeks of work. If you take my app platform with the uh, UI, it's three weeks of work integrating. 30% is only three weeks up to three to four weeks. That, that's the kind of work you're looking at. Good. I guess thank you.